I think for me, as far as knowing he's the one, we were just really, really good friends and we were really in sync with each other. Um, as far as, you know, when we talked about like goals and our future, it just kind of both of us aligned and we all, both wanted kind of the same thing out of life. So I think that's when I kind of realized, oh yeah, he's the one. <laughs> I mean, honestly, I didn't know she was the one to way like I fell for her hard like initially because you know like I thought it but then I like I didn't know for a fact like okay this is the chick I'm gonna marry so maybe you know I fell for her and I fell for her even harder but I still I, I guess I was in denial more than anything <laughs> but like she said she like we both come from similar backgrounds like we wouldn't come like we, we're at SMU we're mad at SMU so you know most of the people around us came from money you know, it's that stuff. And I was hoping to land a rich girl, but whatever. <laughs> and uh, so we came from similar backgrounds. We talked and we were friends and she knew my background. She knew my bad side, you know, as far as how I was before. And she just kind of accepted me for, she just took me in, not took me in, yeah. She kind of like accepted me for who I was. Like, even though she knew I wasn't the great person, you know, but I had a lot of good qualities. I guess she saw the best of me, I don't know. And yeah, we just had a lot of similar similar goals. Like we knew we were both gonna go to school, get our masters, you know. You know, didn't want kids at an early age. We didn't, her, her marriage wasn't in the near, near future. Um, for me, it wasn't even in the picture at all, but here we are. Uh, <laughs> yeah, and then and everybody, like my family met her, like I just brought her around. My family met her, my best friend met her, and every everybody, I guess everybody knew she was the one before I actually knew she was the one. Like, before I, you accepted I, the before fact. Before I accepted the <laughs> fact that I, she was the one, like, and then now she's like the director of operations at work, so she's definitely the one. <laughs> an engineer, you know. <laughs> uh, we first met, actually, over there. Um, I was pledging, she was pledging. And it was just like, after one of our pledge meetings, well, my pledge meeting, like I was walking with one of my, well, my line brothers, I was walking and <laughs> she, my one of my friends, he was like next to me, like, oh, look, there goes our sister, because we're not constitutionally bonded or anything. Anyways, so we're, but like our fraternity and sorority kind of like brother and sister in a way. So I'm like, what are you talking about? I didn't know that at that point. So he's like, yeah, that's, look, let me introduce y'all. I'm like, all right, cool. And I saw her. Golly, she was. All right, first of all, she was like, you know, she's in college, her freshman. She was like 19, right? She was wearing like <laughs> this goofy little uh. <laughs> strawberry shortcake shirt. Like, you know, strawberry shortcake, the pink and <laughs> pink and uh, red. red. <laughs> so then she had like a matching like little bow tie. Yeah, I know, right? And then I was like, in my head, I was like, what the It was hell? cute. Goofy, <laughs> like, you're 20, bro. Like, why are you doing that? I didn't, that's all. And then she's like, oh, hey. And then we met. Like, oh, hey, what's up? And that was like, that was it. I didn't think anything of her. I mean, in my head, I guess, you know, I was like, oh, she's cute. But that was it. Like, nothing like, oh, you know, whatever. Let me, let me talk to her or anything. Not, it was nothing like that at first. So, at least on my end. I Same. feel like she wanted me. <laughs> whatever. But, whatever. <laughs> See, that's how we met. Yeah. My favorite thing about her, so many things to me, I'm just oh kidding. <laughs> um, she's just really, really nice. Like, really nice. Sometimes too nice, to be quite honest with you. And I love it about her, but at the same time, I sometimes I just hate it, like, why like, oh, are you so damn nice? But that's it, honestly, like, she just, she just sees the best in everybody. Like. This could be like the worst scenario in the world. She's like, well, you know, at least blah, blah. She sees the silver lining of things and everything. My favorite thing about him is that he can turn any situation into a comedy. So I think that that's really, really good, especially because, you know, sometimes situations aren't the best. And so instead of, you know, pouting about it or crying about it, he just starts making fun of it and just makes any any situation like really light and, and you know, better, I guess. So that's that's his best quality. <laughs> <laughs> Well, the proposal was coming years. I thought about it for a while. 
I remember texting my mom, hey, I need to talk to you. And she's like, all right, is everything okay? I'm like, yeah, yeah, everything's fine. But I just need to talk to you. Because I kind of wanted to get the thumbs up from her, right? Um, and so I got home. Um, it was from class. I think it was almost 10. At that time, she wasn't working. So she was up watching TV. So I was like, hey, I kind of brought her like, hey, you know, what do you think? I if I marry Liz or whatever. She's like, well, duh. You know, like, <laughs> why not? Like, we all been waiting for years. <laughs> Like, oh, okay, you know, that, and the, is that what you had to talk to me about? Like, I was just crazy, you know, I'm thinking about all these stupid stuff, so that's how I, I you know, I made it really light, like, it wasn't like everything dramatic at that point. So then I brought it to my best friend, my best friend, like, hey, let's go, whenever you're ready for the ghost ring shopping, I got you. I'm like, okay, that's cool. And that was, you know, that was in June, July, August, September, it came around, school came around, started again, so, and then... In September of 2016, um, I was actually at her house studying, and now, you know, um, for a class, and then my, I got the phone call that my parents had passed. So then that kind of, like, deterred the situation. You know, I put everything aside. Like, I, I missed school for, like, a month and a half. I missed work for a month and a half trying to get everything situated. And... It wasn't that that situation kind of helped it, but I was like, shit, you know, life's too short to even, like, be like, nah, I'll do it later, I'll do it later, I'll do it later. So then that kind of, you know, deterred the situation. So a few months had passed. Like, then the next summer, I was talking to my friend, like, hey, let's go ring shopping. He's like, all right, let's do it. So then, well, yeah, you know, we looked for, we, we shopped at different places, Zales, Robin. I was like, man, you know, whatever. I don't want. I'm not normal. I'm not. I, I like doing certain things at such situations to stand out. Not only that, but she also deserved it. Like she stood up. She put up with me for nine years at that point. So I was like, <laughs> she deserves Tiffany. So like, you know what? Fuck it. Let's go, Tiffany. So we did it. I bought it. Um, I, I went to go get it. It was sitting in my trunk for about a week. Yeah, I know, right? Yeah, that much. <laughs> but the thing is. I didn't know how to like do it. I had like well, I had a lot of scenarios in my head when my parents, you know, the whole my parents passed, so I wanted to do a really like really really nice headstone. So that took a while as well as I was planning the wet, the proposal. I was planning that, so I was like, you know what? She's barely family oriented. I'm family oriented, oriented. So I was like, let's let me incorporate both of these things at the same time so her family was there like throughout the whole situation with my parents the whole time like even that now like if I call any of them they're there they're like my family you know my family was there so I called them and I text everybody like hey you know this Sunday where uh, I'm doing the review of the headstone you know and everybody oh, okay because everybody had been asking me because it was almost a year but I just wanted the right one you know just kind of like with the ring I wanted the right ring so at the proposal um, I told everybody that it was going to be at the cemetery, but I told everybody it was the headstone reveal. So, you know, but the reason I did it at the cemetery was because I wanted my parents to be there. Like, I wanted our family to be there, <clears throat> and I wanted my family. <clears throat> I wanted my family to be there as well, and her family, her parents, my parents. So that's why I did it there. And um, and I always knew I got the. I always knew my parents wanted me to marry her. Um, like I knew, like like I said, like my when I told when I mentioned it to my mom, she knew that I was like, come on now, like duh. My dad, <laughs> my dad wanted grandkids at that point already, like so. My dad had always, always wanted loved her from like day one almost, and um, so then, what was I at? I lost kind of much. <laughs> oh yeah, and then Your so, proposal. you know, I started talking about the headstone. Then I'm like, okay, well, you know, that's that. But now, I actually brought you here, and I gave my whole little spiel, started talking about her, and I saw her from my peripheral. She was like, you know, what's going on? Like, I thought it was really I, weird that a, a lot of he people, was making it about me. <laughs> a lot of people were like, hey, bro, like, we know you love her. Chill out, though. You know, like, this is your parents. <laughs> and then, <laughs> so then, and I turned to my best friend, and he gave me the box. And then that's when everybody was like, oh, my God. And, you know, then I turned up to her, and I got on one knee, and I asked her, and the you know, she said yes. I mean, why would she say no, right? <laughs> but another, I just kind of want to add this. I'm, I'm, 
don't think I've ever told anybody this except her. I think I mentioned it once. Um, like the whole approval from my parents, I I knew I had it. Um, but that night, you know, we went to my house. We had, I think I had hired a taco lady. So we all, you know, just kind of like, not a huge thing, but just kind of like a little comida for all my family and my family. You know, that was that, and that was a Sunday. So that, that night I had a dream. I was at the proposal, but from like a third, third eye, like it was a third person. Like I was like somebody else. And I saw me proposing to her. And I saw my parents in the background, just like, <clears throat> kind of like in approval, like, you know, like just happy, just standing there by their graves, um, just standing there saying, you know, kind of just in approval. And that, that made me feel like a thousand times better at that as well. So that was it. Yeah, so the day of the proposal, like he said, um, he'd been kind of planning a headstone for his parents. So the whole time, you know, we're planning it and he's like, hey, you know, I want to have kind of have a, a thank you thing for my parent, my my family and, and your family. And let's just get them all together um, and show them what the headstone's going to look like. So I was like, OK, fine. Didn't think anything of it, you know. So um, the day of came and my sister, she's or actually it was the day before. And his sister is like, hey, let's go get our nails done. I'm not that type of person to go get my nails in or wear makeup or any of that um, but I'm like oh, I don't really feel like it and so I guess she got tired of asking me so she, she kind of just stopped um, and then the next day I'm, I'm rushing trying to get ready to go to to the cemetery for for this uh, reveal of the headstone that Julio was planning um, and so I was like yeah, I don't have time to get ready or put makeup on and so my sister's like oh you know I'll put makeup on you didn't think anything anything of it um, but I, I think I just put a little bit on and I kind of had her fix my hair a little bit and so we left. Um, we went to his house, to, I went to his house to pick him up and we all headed to um, the cemetery. And then uh, we get there, still no idea, no clue, total surprise. Um, and he's like, oh, I invited Becky, which is my best friend. And I was like, okay, you know, fine. She's, she, she's been helping us out and, you know, through this entire time. Um, so everybody's there and he starts talking about his parents and the headstone, everybody's emotional. Um, I think I, at that point I was kind of crying already. And so he starts kind of talking about me and making it about me. And I thought that was really weird. So I'm just kind of looking at him like, <laughs> what's going on? Uh, and then all I see is like, he turns around to Juan and like grabs, uh, the, the box and he just like gets on with me and he proposes. And I'm just like, I think I'm ugly crying at this time already. So I'm like ugly crying the entire time and everybody's like surprised. And so it, it was a, a really cool, really cool surprise. And, and yeah, it was, it was great. It was great. He did a good job. He did a really good job. <laughs> For me, I look forward just to, to be in the same space. I mean, we're, we're, we kind of did it the traditional way. And, like, I live with my parents and he lives in, on his own. Um, so just kind of sharing the space together and, you know, spending, you know, having our own house and, and you know, inviting people over and having parties and, and just having fun together. I think that's, that's what I look forward to the most. Um, what I look forward to the most just, I don't know, just where life takes me, honestly, with her. Um, we've had ups and downs um, in personal issues and relationships and her personal life. And I just kind of want to see where I'm at. I, I look forward to like overcoming or, you know, tackling things down together as opposed to right now we're, we're, I mean, we're together. We're together most of the time, but we still, you know, I stay on my own and she stays on her own. So just, just like she said, trying to have that joint um, space. So.